Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jose here at the Springdale Ford. I've got something super rare for you. This is a 2023 F-250 Limited. This is a very rare truck. This one was ordered. It took about a year to get here. We're going to go over the sticker price here in a second. We want to go over some new features for the Limited. Obviously, you've got that new front end redesigned. It's got the LED lights, LEDs all around, satin aluminum grille with the chrome inserts. This has got six cameras. One of them you'll see under the Ford logo. Chrome tow hooks, you're going to find the body color bumpers in the front and back on the Limited. New badging, it goes down even further and it's got functional heat extractors right there. Those are 20 inch polished wheel, aluminum wheels with the carbonized gray inserts. And then you'll notice this red 6.7 power stroke symbol right there. That, that means it has the high output 6.7 diesel. That's going to have 500 horsepower, 1,200 pound feet of torque. 1600 rpm so this has got even more power more technology um, right here on the door handle you've got the satin aluminum um, and then you've got the star white on the body right here the power running boards do come out now when you hit the unlock button so they'll kind of greet you instead of having to wait for that door to open so let's check out the inside on the inside you've got that nice um, admiral blue and slight gray interior and then right here you've got genuine unique carbon fiber inserts all around. And then you've got the scuff plates with the limited badging right there. And then you've got the Admiral Blue and light gray interior right here. This is premium leather. Um, and then you've got the max recline here. So these will pull all the way down 180 degrees. So you can have them heated, ventilated with the massaging seats going on. Front passenger as well. Um, both of y'all can get the massage. We've got that really silky soft Admiral Blue, Admiral Blue steering wheel. A new 12-inch screen behind the steering wheel. And also that's something that's new is that heads-up display. I know a lot of other um, truck makers have had that technology. Before just went ahead and added it into theirs. I really do like that feature. And then you've got that 12-inch center console. Um, Sync 4 with wireless car play. Um, you'll notice you've got a wireless charger in here. A lot of night. Nice luxury features. This has got the double panel moonroof. It's got the 18 B and O sound system. So if you like bumping your speakers, you can do that here. A lot of technology. You got the Ford Copilot 360 and the 2.0. It's gonna give you intelligent adaptive cruise, um, intersection assist. So those are some new safety features. You've got blind spot, lane keeping, all that stuff. It can read the speed limits on the road and put those right behind the steering wheel for you to easily see and not get distracted. Now back here, you've got the lockable storage. Uh, we've got the seat reclined, but you do have rear heated seats back here. You'll find some more carbon fiber inserts on the doors back here, some satin aluminum um, at Fleeks. Another neat feature too on the new Super Duties, GMC and some other automakers have had it like uh, Chevy, is the box side step. So it just makes it easier to get into your vehicle You'll notice it's integrated into the bumper and it's got a little handle right here too. Makes it easy to grab onto something and get in there. Redesigned tail lamps, those are LEDs and they've got the onboard scale with the smart hitch. So that's gonna light up when you're getting close to your max payload or your max tongue weight as well. So that's a neat feature. Obviously on the limited, you're gonna get that badging back here. That's gonna let everybody know you take pride in what you've got and you want the best. Um, you've also got the power releasing tailgate. It also goes up. You just have to nudge it. I'll show you how it goes up, and then I'll show you some more neat features. So it'll catch itself. It'll go up. Another neat feature is the 2-kilowatt generator in the bed for the Super Duty. We've got that um, tailgate step. It tucks away really nice into that tailgate, but you've also got sensors in the tailgate. You've got a camera in the tailgate, so now when you're backing up, you can see what's behind you when the tailgate is down too. You can also have those rear sensors working and they're not just gonna be going crazy when you're backing up. So those are some neat features. So it's got eight sensors in the back, allows you to back up too. And another neat feature for the Super Duty is the Pro Trailer Backup Assist now has Pro Hitch Assist. So what that's gonna do is basically line up the, the hitch with your ball and it's basically gonna do it just like Pro Trailer Backup Assist. It's gonna perfectly put you right underneath uh, the ball where you need to hook up. You can do everything basically besides hook up to the camper. So it'll line it up perfectly. Uh, you don't have to worry about 
struggling or having somebody be a lookout for you, you know, point you in the right direction. So those are some neat features on the Super Duty. Now we're going to go around here. We're going to look at the window sticker and uh, we're going to check out what one of these is costing nowadays. I know truck prices keep going up. This one was a retail order. There's going to be no markup. But look at that window sticker. You're looking at 100,000 MSRP. You can see the optional items that he selected, like the Epic 4, the weather mats, and the color right there. That is 100,000 with only a few optional items, but this truck is ready to work. It's ready to go. It'll keep you comfortable, and you'll take pride in driving a Ford vehicle like this as well, knowing that you have top of the line. Pretty much everything that you can get in, in the new Super Duties, you've got it standard on the Limited. Let me know what you think in the comments, what you think about the price. Is Ford going a little bit crazy with their features and the prices? 100000 They used to buy a house. Uh, maybe not when I was buying a house because everything has gone up, but 100000 for a truck. If you go to the 450, I've got one ordered. You're looking at 107,000, so it's not much more for a lot bigger truck with these features. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you all have a great day.